Y'all, it is Cop Pizzle coming on here to talk about the uh, the 53 man roster for the Giants, and uh, you know we're we're just uh, we're just over a week away from the season kicking off, and um, you know an interesting roster. And just want to talk about it real fast, touch base with you guys. First of all, before we get started, where is the uh, where is the Josh Rosen fan club out there? If, in case you didn't know, Josh Rosen just got released a couple a few days ago, and you know there was a huge fan club out there of of people wanting the Giants to trade for him. You know, from comments and some people out there making a hundred fucking videos. And some people on Twitter talking this, talking that. I mean, is anybody gonna eat crow for that? Or do we just do we just say shit and move on to the next hot topic and nobody eats crow? You know, because everybody likes to pinpoint when Pizzle says something wrong, when I do wrong, but the only reason you know I do wrong is because I eat crow when it's time to eat crow. And so you all go around and you say, well, that's the guy over there who we should listen to when it comes to content about the Giants and they don't know their hair from their fucking ass. They don't know the hair from their nose hair to their ass hair, okay? And it's and it's it, it's absolute trash that anybody thinks otherwise. Where's the Josh Rosen fucking fan club? Eat your crow! Nevertheless, Daniel Jones, Colt McCoy, Rocking out the QB position for the New York Giants. I'm very comfortable with Colt McCoy being the backup for the Giants. I'm happy about that. How about a fucking round of applause for Pizzle telling you that Caden Smith was the fucking man at tight end for the New York Giants. And everybody out there, which by the way, he made the team. Everybody has, has fallen into that trap again with Evan Ingram sucking him off every chance they got. Because, oh, Evan Ingram made some special plays in training camp, in practice. Showed on the damn field during game time. You know who will show it on the field? Caden Smith. You know who will eat crow? If it goes bad, Pizzle. But you know what? It ain't going to go bad. Because Pizzle's right nine out of ten times when it comes to these New York fucking football shots. They keep five receivers on the team. Shout out to C.J. Board. Clarksville, Tennessee's finest. Matter of fact, I was sitting by his boy today when he made the team, and I saw the man text the the man himself, CJ Board. I got CJ Board's number. Pizzle ain't gonna put it out there on YouTube though. Nevertheless, when you got a guy like Derry Slayton, which by the way, been getting disrespected all damn offseason by not only the national market, but even giant fans themselves. When you got a guy like Derry Slayton, all you need is four other fucking receivers. You don't need seven. You don't need eight. You got a superstar named Derry fucking Slayton. Nobody wants to say nothing to pizzle about it. Now we kept a hundred linebackers. I'm sure common sense would tell me, of course, you're going to go listen to all this other stupid shit, but common sense would tell me that Joe Judge really wants to make sure that special team unit is strong. And if we got to keep 100 linebackers, we'll keep 100 linebackers. Cool. I'm, you know, I'm not going to fall in love with Lorenzo Carter. Again, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to go. I'm pumped about Tay Crowder. I'm pumped about uh, Devontae Downs. Everybody wanted Marcus Golden back. Okay, well, let's see what he does on a good defense now. I'm in the boat of y'all overrating the hell out of Marcus Golden. I want to talk about this defensive line now. B.J. Hill, Dexter Lawrence, Dalvin Thompson, Leonard Williams doesn't surprise me. Those guys need to be strong for the Giants. I'm pumped about Austin Johnson. R.J. Mac, uh, 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 McIntosh for out of Miami, been high on him. Thought he thought he could thought he could be a big part of this team. And even on Joe Judge's staff, he's earned the right to be a part of the New York Football Giants. I'm fucking fired up about that. I want to give props to Wayne Gallman Jr. Wayne Gallman before training camp started, before we even got to doing anything, 
was destined to not make this team, okay? I don't know what everybody else was saying, but Pizzle will tell you, nine times out of ten, Wayne Gallman wasn't going to make this team, wasn't going to be a part of this team. But he earned his right to be a part of this team. And I'm fired up for Wayne Gallman. I'm fired up. Deion Lewis, we didn't bring him in to cut him. Obviously, Saquon, Eli Penny pumped up for him. But Wayne Gallman, like... Good on that dude because obviously he wants it and he showed that he wants it. Defensive back, I got people going around here telling y'all Sean Chandler ain't going to make this team. He made the motherfucking team! And I'm going to tell you something. This defensive back unit has been getting disrespected the last several weeks. Hell, been getting really disrespected since DeAndre Baker uh, did his stupid ass shit. I'm going to tell you right now, this defensive back unit, this core, this group, they're going to kill it. I, I honestly believe they're going to kill it. I'm not really, I'm not going to go all high and mighty on Logan Ryan like other people do. You guys all love big names, whatever. Like, I hope he comes in and makes plays. But I'm telling you right now, Holmes, Bradbury, I, I, I'm love, I am high on all of these dudes. I love the fact that they're young. I love the fact that people are doubting them, I fucking love that shit. And they're going to prove you wrong. I'm telling you, they're going to prove you wrong. And this defensive line, too, is going to help them boys out. I really believe that. Offensive line, I don't think anything surprises me. Doesn't surprise Pizzle. Uh, I've tried to tell you guys left and right how it's going to be. Uh, who's going to play where. I don't need to make 20,000 fucking videos to tell you over and over and over about it, okay? Either you get it the first time or you don't get it all, okay? Once again, keep listening to all the dumb shit, but I best believe that when it comes time post-game and we're either celebrating or eating crow, you'll be coming to see your boy Pizzle, won't you? Because we're the damn show stopper! <laughs> Woo! I really like this Giants team. Young, already counted out, not only by the na by the nation, but also by other Giant fans. Already counted out. This team is going to prove to everybody and its own fan base week one against the Pittsburgh Steelers that sometimes being young, dumb, and full of woo is not such a bad thing. Can't wait. I'm ready to roll.